Hi everyone, Nick here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this really fun design effect in PowerPoint. You can see right here we have a picture of just the cutest little Scottish Fold cat and she is hiding behind the text but part of her is also in front of the text. And so this is kind of like this sandwich, uh, sort of sandwich text and object effect that you see a lot in marketing and advertising these days. When you get over to PowerPoint and you try to make this though, it doesn't quite seem as easy uh, as you think it is just by sort of looking at this really engaging slide. So I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process. It's very, very easy. There are two ways uh, to sort of accomplish this in PowerPoint. So I'm going to go ahead and escape out of this slide. We'll go over to, uh, this is sort of my demonstration slide right here. This is my image. You can see one thing about this image is that the background is removed. And we've removed backgrounds from photos in other videos before. You can do, you can remove backgrounds from photos in any of the Microsoft apps. So you can do it in PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. Uh, and you can do it in lots of other uh, programs too. Now the problem is that sometimes the Microsoft background remover is not that detailed and sophisticated. So right here you can see I have the picture that I downloaded uh, from PowerPoint of this cat. It has a really nice plain background and that's a really good photo for removing the background when you have a really tight focal object and then you have kind of a really plain uh, or muted background. But you can see here this photo also has these whiskers uh, and kind of eyelashes that are just sort of popping out uh, from the cat. And so we'll see how PowerPoint treats this. I'm going to select the photo, go up to the picture format tab, and then click on remove background. And when I do this, it'll automatically generate this sort of background removal. All of the pink or purple area is what they're going to remove. And you can see it doesn't really do that great of a job. Now you can go ahead and try to manually sort of click around um, to see if that would work. If I click on keep changes, you can see this is what it looks like. It's not not exactly what I was going for. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to confess here. Sometimes I don't use PowerPoint for this. Sometimes I head over to another free program called Canva. And so let's go over to Canva. I have it up, and this is a program right here. I have a pro account to Canva, but you can just create a free account, and I'm pretty sure that the remove background feature lives there. Their remove background feature is just a little bit more sophisticated, I think, than the Microsoft. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this photo here in Canva. We're gonna go to the edit photo tab right there, and then this BG, the background remover. I'm going to click on that. It's going to do some thinking and you will see that it does a much better job. You can see here that the whiskers are intact and that whole background color is sort of removed from the object. So that's a little bit of a pro tip. Now what I'm going to do is I can't copy this photo and paste it into PowerPoint. I have to export it in Canva. So you just go up to the share tab here. And I'm gonna click on download and then make sure that it's set to PNG. That's the type of photo that we want. You're gonna say transparent background, make sure that that's selected. And then you're gonna download this slide. And then you'll upload it in that image that you downloaded into your PowerPoint slide. So I've already done that over here um, in PowerPoint and that's what my demonstration slide was. Okay, that's step number one, remove that background. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, I'm gonna show you the, the first way, that's kind of just the, the easy kind of duh way to do this. We know that PowerPoint works on layers. So every object that you place on the slide is placed on a different layer. So um, right here I have uh, one text box, then I have two text boxes. So I actually just broke this into two. I had two lines of text, I have two separate text boxes, and then I have my focal image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure that this adopt me uh, text box is on the back layer. So I'm going to right click and say send to back and that's going to put it all the way on the back layer of the slide. Then I'm going to keep this cat here. It's going to stay right here uh, in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it, or actually I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do this is move the cat to front, just to make sure. So now the cat is on the front layer, the adopt me is on the back layer. Now what I wanna do is I actually want the today to now move ahead of the cat on the front layer. So I'm gonna right click that and say move to front. Now the adopt me is in back, the today is in front and a cat should be in the middle. So let's just go ahead, click the arrow key and nudge her over just a little bit and see where she falls. Yeah, so she's falling right in between the text there and that is a really nice way to do it. Now, the second way that I wanted to show you how, uh, show you how to do this is kind of the most fun way. And you can see I'm kind of giving away uh, my secret there uh, with that little extra uh, nod, that extra design element there. But let's just pretend you didn't see that. And we're gonna have our focal image here with the cat and then we have the Adopt Me Today text. Now this is just a single text box. If it's off to the uh, side of the slide, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Arrange tools to center it and put it in the middle. So let's go up to the Arrange tab. We're gonna say Align Center and then Align Middle. Perfect, okay. Now. 
if I have the cat, I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the front so you can see it. So once she's on the front layer, I could just put her right in front of the text. And that's a really nice effect. I could move her to the back just like we did before. And now she's behind the text and she's looking um, kind of through the text. That might be another nice effect. But if I want to keep the text box as one object and I want the photo to stay uh, there, what I need to actually do now is duplicate the photo. So I'm going to push Control D to duplicate that photo. I'm gonna go ahead and click both of the photos. So hit, hold down shift and select both of them so they're both selected. Now let's use those arrange tools again. We're gonna center it and we're gonna put it towards the bottom. We're gonna align it to the bottom. Perfect, so they're exactly on top of each other. Now I'm gonna go ahead, they're both selected still, so I'm gonna move them, kind of nudge them over, position them exactly where I want. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna click out of here so that the photos are unselected. I'm gonna click on this top layer and I'm gonna move her to the back. So she's gonna be now to the back of the row. Now what I'm gonna do here, oops, we still have that one. I'm gonna click undo there. Now with her, I'm going to move her to the front. Okay, so one of them has to be in front and one of them has to be in back. Now, with just the one on the front selected, we're gonna use the picture format crop. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on crop and then I'm gonna use the crop dragging tool all the way up just to where the point, uh, the top of that second line of text lives. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. Now you can see that some of her is in front of the text and some of her is behind that today text. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably just select both of those, make sure that both of these photos are selected. I'm gonna click on, Actually, I'm not gonna click on group because if I click on group, you'll see, I'll say control G to group. Now everything automatically moves back to that front layer. So I don't necessarily want uh, to do that, but I'm gonna see if I have both of them selected, if I could resize them together. And I can't, it doesn't really work like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and undo that way. But if I wanted her to be bigger, what I might do here is I'm just going to delete her and we will do this. I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Remember, hold down the shift key and click on the arrow to drag it out. That will uh, resize your photo proportionally. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate her again. Now she's in the front and put her right on top. I'm gonna go picture format tab, crop, and then we are gonna go ahead and just put that right there. And now you can see more of her face in front of that photo. It's a really fun, nice design effect that you can use in any of your PowerPoint presentations. And it's so subtle, but it's also really, uh, it looks just very sophisticated. And I think that your audience will um, really appreciate it. They might not know exactly how you did it or why they appreciate it so much, but it just looks like a really slick and finished uh, design slide, much different than uh, I think most people would see in a presentation. So go ahead and get Give this a try. I hope you use it. Let me know in the comments below how your audience liked it and how you found this tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it too. You'll get notified every time I post a new video in data design, usually PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. I had a great time making this for you and I hope you all have a fantastic day.